Hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. I hope y'all are doing good. And I hope y'all are enjoying this spring. I don't know about y'all spring, but Texas has had one of the best springs so far that we've had in a long time. A lot of times in Texas, it'll just go from winter straight to hot. And we have had some really nice, pretty, cool days. And here it is in the middle of May, and we have not hardly even been in the 80s very much. So, um, yeah, we've had a very unusual spring. Nice and cool like you'd expect up north somewhere, but not here in Texas. So, I have enjoyed that. So, thank y'all for coming back. Man, my leg is going to sleep from sitting here too long. Okay, and I've got one more Timu package. And like I told you, I'm backlogged on them because... You know, Charlie's been sick, and I hadn't been able to uh, address, and they just been coming and coming, and i just been throwing them over in the corner. So this is the last one of the ones I'm behind on. So I hope y'all don't mind playing catch up, but I just love showing y'all what I find because I find such good deals on Timu. So, um... Let me get into it so I can see what order it is because I don't know what order it is because I had too many and I'm getting them mixed up because in the just through the bag you can't really tell what's in there and when you got four or five bags they all look the same you, you really don't know which order is which until you open it so let's let's get my phone ready because we already looked at this order and we're gonna look at this next one. So I'll take, let's see, find something in here I can pull out. Oh, this is my new belt for my jeans. Now I'm hoping this is gonna fit me, but yeah, it, it's just a belt. So let me open it because I'm excited about it. I need a new belt because I have one belt that's way too big and one belt that's way too small. And I like to wear a belt with my jeans. So, oh look, I got it wrapped up in a little sleeve so it doesn't get scratched up and stuff. Now, I do believe this is supposed to be leather, but it's not as pleather, but uh, yeah. And it's supposed to be my size because I checked, you know, and they kind of help you decide how to determine your size with a few little measurements. So, yeah, look at that. That's kind of like a black metal. And it's a nice buckle. And it looks like it's big enough for me. Let me stand up and see if it'll go around my, my waist. Oh yeah, look at that. You know? Okay, there you go. Now all I need to do is get my jeans. I got me a nice belt. You know, you can just wear a belt like that over a shirt. Like that. I have seen people wear belts like that. So, let me check and see this order. View the receipt. Okay, this belt was $3.48. And, you know, it wouldn't look bad with all my orange stuff because it's the right shade, which is good. Okay, let's see what else is in here. <laughs> I 
I got this is hanging out on this end. I don't even know what it is, but this is how it comes packaged. That's a nice box in it. Nice wrapping. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, don't know what that is. Oh, this is my tree thing. I think I lost something. Or they lost it. There it is. I could feel it. It fell off in there. Okay, now you're going to love this. <coughs> Let me take them out of the bag. Hey, John. Okay. These are two eyes. I don't know how to hold these up so you can see them. And this is a nose. See the nostrils? And this is the mouth. Goes like this with the mustache. And you hang them on a tree. See, they got the hanger in the back. Now, you got the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Now, let me show you so you can really see it. Because I cannot hold it where you can really get the vision of it. Now, if I click on it, it shows all of them. Okay, here it is. It goes on a tree like that. And you can make the face as wide as you can't you want, uh, or you can make it as together and small as you want. So, yeah, I thought that's fun. I have a tree, an oak tree right here in the front, and I'm going to hang this on where the neighbors can see it when they walk by. So, yeah, I thought that was really cool. <sighs> really cool. <sighs> okay, now let's see. I only paid $5.07 for this little face. So, um, yeah. Tomorrow or sometime I'm going to put this on my tree. And then I will take a picture of it so y'all can see it. So that's going to be fun. You know, I love little things like that that makes, makes your yard fun for kids. Okay, now this, I already have one of these by my bed and I use it every day. And I ordered another one because I have my phone here that I use for the internet and stuff. And then I have my phone that y'all are using right now for my cell phone service and stuff. So I need two of these. So I'm going to put this one right next to the other one by my bed. And it has a little peel and stick thing up for the wall. And you just put your phone in it. And then you can charge it, and the cord comes right out the bottom. So, yeah, so this is right by my bed. So, I have one, and I only have room for one phone. So, one has to lay down on my end table while the other one is hanging on the wall. So, I'm going to put this one up there. And then it has little ears on the side for you to hang cords on if you want to. So, if you got a cord or something, you can hang it on the side. So... Yeah, so, um, I already have one of these, and I'm telling you, I use it all the time, every day. So, yeah, just hang your phone by your bed. Um, mine's stuck to the paneling right by my bed, and it's only 78 cents for this little thing. 
And it's a wall-mounted phone holder. So, very useful. Like I said, I already have one, but I have two phones and I have to keep them both charged. Now this, you know, I showed you yesterday I got a new doorbell from Timu. Yeah, a wireless doorbell. You plug in and then you put batteries in and you put one on the front porch. So I got this little sign so people that don't know I got a doorbell can read this. It says, please ring the bell. Because a lot of times, if I'm in my bedroom and somebody knocks on my door, I can't hear them. Um, I cannot hear them at all. But I do remember years ago when I had a doorbell, I had it plugged in right here in the living room. And I could hear that doorbell in my bedroom. So, yeah. So I'm anxious. I hadn't got it installed yet. But it's sitting right over there ready. And I'm going to put this right over there with the doorbell. And I'm going to make sure that this gets on the wall by the doorbell. So, yeah. A little handy thing right there. And, uh, let's see, that couldn't have been very much. It's like 71 cents. 71 cents for that little thing. Isn't that amazing? Just getting close to dark out there. It's still daylight, but it's really, really close to dark. You can tell by the window. Let's see what else is in here. Oh! Oh! Now, I've got one of these that is large, and I've realized that they've got small, medium, and large. And I love this thing. This is the best. This is like a blender, hand handheld blender. And you just put it on something, and it just mixes. So I decided I was getting all three of them. I want the small one, I want the medium, and I want the large one. So, yeah, you just be... Um, mixing up your stuff like pancake batter or whatever. Uh, and this is stainless steel. And um, like I said, I've already got one and I love it. I use it quite often. So when I saw that they had small, medium, and large, I went and measured mine and I had the large one. So this is either the medium and then I got another one in here. It's supposed to be the small, I think. Or I'll order it next time. Oh, look at these. These are like little cell phone cord holders. They're little hands. And you put them on the wall. And they'll hold your cord. Um, from your wall. So, yeah. And they're peel and stick. So, they're just little handy hands that'll hold your cord. So I thought that was interesting. So I'm gonna use those. Now let's see what this is. Oh, some heart earrings, but these are kind of red. And I love heart earrings, cause that's what these are. But these are red. They're kind of dressy, and they're stainless steel, but they're just little hearts, and aren't those cute? So there's two of them here, and they're stainless steel, so let's see how much I paid for those. Oh, there they are right there. They're two retro bohemian style heart shape. It says they're orange. Look red to me, but it says they're orange. So, $1.48 for those little earrings. And I thought they was just really cute. There's something else in here. I don't know what it is. Looks like a necklace or something. I don't know. 
but this looks like a funnel. A little funnel. I don't know what that goes to. Why you need a funnel? Oh, I know. This is for Charlie's ashes. It's a necklace that I bought, an urn. I was like, why does it have a funnel? But yeah, now I'll hold it up there. It's a little heart and let me get up so you can see better. And that little gold thing in the middle is a urn. And I use this funnel over here and this little key to open it. See the little key in the bottom and the little funnel to open this urn and this little heart. The gold part is the urn and I can put some of Charlie's ashes in here and then I can wear this necklace and Charlie will be always with me. Isn't that cool? So yeah, so I found that and it's just a little urn. The gold part is the urn. And I don't know where you take it apart, but I'm sure it's in the stem somewhere. But it's just little and dainty and delicate. Yeah, this is Charlie's urn. I don't know how I'm going to get them ashes in there, but I'm going to try to figure it out. So, um, I don't know what I did with the little sack. There it is. So let me put that necklace back in there. But it is stainless steel, so it shouldn't tarnish. And... Let me um, put the little funnel and stuff down in there so everything's in the same bag. So yeah, that that's Charlie's little urn right there. Now Charlie's gonna come in an urn. I paid for an urn, so he's gonna come in an urn. And I don't know if it's gonna be sealed or not, so I don't know if I have access to the ashes inside or if it's a sealed system. I just don't know about that. Okay, it feels like one last thing in here. That is a sign. Route 66. And you know Route 66 goes through North Texas up in the Panhandle. Goes through Amarillo. Amarillo by morning. So, I thought this was a cool sign to have. So, I have some signs on my back porch. So, I thought I would add this to it. And it just kind of looks like a neon sign, but it's just metal. Just metal. So, let me see how much this Route 66 sign cost me. What can I lay this at? Um, $3.59 for that metal sign. And it says, get your kicks on Route 66. I'll use that for my thumbnail. Only in Texas. So I know a lot of y'all don't have a Route 66, but a lot of y'all do because it goes all the way across the United States from the East Coast to the West Coast. Yeah, it does. I've traveled on a lot of it. Um, I've crossed places a lot of it. I hadn't traveled a very far on it. But um, the, the original Route 66 goes through all the small towns because it was before the interstates. You know, like Mansfield Highway out here by my house. It runs clean through several cities. But it was the original interstate before they built Interstate 20 that goes clean across east to west so yeah the old highways is the old interstates 
which was Route 66, which is just like Mansfield Highway out here. One of the old, original, two-lane asphalt highways before they paved them. So, yeah, there's history behind the Route 66 road. But I love it. Now, let's see. I think that's everything that's in this little bag that I got from Timu. So, yeah. So, I spent time while ago cleaning up my mess just to turn around and make another mess. So, that's all my bags now. So, I'm caught up from my behind. Except I got that one box over there that's got my table in it. But I'm going to take that outside where we can open it outside. So, uh, yeah. So the Route 66, I told y'all, was 359. So, that's it. Party's over. Turn out the lights. The party is over. <laughs> I appreciate y'all coming. I hope y'all had a good time. And um, I hope y'all come back again. And I want to say... I read my comments. I haven't responded to them, but I will go back and respond to them. But I've noticed I've got some new people making comments that they just found my channel yesterday and they're subscribed. So welcome to my channel, all you new people. I'm seeing you in my comments and I see all my old people. And I'll tell you what, I saw Jennifer Stomberger in my comments. And Jennifer Stomberger, bless her heart, She's the one that sent me the My Pillow when I had my brain aneurysm and was in the hospital. And I sleep on that pillow every day. But I saw you in there, Jennifer, and I love you. And uh, hey, Cheryl, hey, Jennifer, hey, Dennis, all of y'all. I, I see all of y'all all the time in my comments, and I love y'all, and I thank y'all for all of your kind words uh, the last few weeks. And I will go back and respond to those because, you know, I just read them. And it's a lot. It's overwhelming because sometimes, you know, y'all's comments touch me so much. It makes me emotional. So I try not to get too emotional because I've been so emotional with Charlie the last week. My head's kind of swimming because I've been crying so much. So anyway, I love y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. So Adios from North Texas, and goodbye from Cowtown, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.